Aries, this is the second week of July. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, this week is the week of um, the 6th until the 12th. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. So Aquarians, this week is a fire week. It's a, so a week of uh, the chariot. So it's fire. So it's a good week. But um, you have the nine of uh, hair. Now, the nine of hair issues and situation has to do with uh, functionality from the worries. Okay, so you got to let it go. Whatever is happening and transpiring, you got to let go of the worries in this week. Okay, so you are creating um, issues and situation that is not there and you need to let go of the worries. Whatever is happening and transpiring, a lot of you are in worries. Um, you... Um, Aries, you got to let go of the worries. It is Independence Day, so happy Independence Day. I'm doing this before I get through my days, start barbecuing. I still celebrate wherever I am in the world. I am stopping and celebrating Independence Day, okay? So, we happy Independence Day to all the people in America. Um... I never put it on the video last week because of so much that is going on. So take in considerate um, people who are going through major shift at this moment. So I didn't put it in the video. But um, your reading is done on Independence Day. So let's go in and check what is coming up. <coughs> so sorry. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> sorry. <laughs> okay. So whatever you were asking and that sort of a thing, it's true, all right? So let's check in and see what is happening. So I see a lot of merriment, happiness that is going on for you, Aries, whatever is transpiring. I see some of you could be um, overcoming some legal issue that is transpiring. I see the energy of, of Paul Sita with a corporation institution. And I see you women 50 years and older is happy. Um, so that is good. I see you men between the ages of 18 and 40 is in some worries. I see you ladies with kids also is coming up in this week. And I see a lot of you are in melancholy, wishing and open for something new. Desperation is here and this is why you have the nine of swords because there is just so much desperation that is going on. So... There's a lot, Aries, a lot is transpiring. So I see some of you are overcoming some false play, whatever that was happening and transpiring. I see some of you are realizing that your, your child's mother or your child's father, there is some false situation that is going on with this person, okay? I see a whole lot of desperation for you, ladies with kids, whole lot of desperation, so what is this happiness about? This happiness is about a situation with your friends. So some emotional situation that was transpiring with your friends. I see that some of you also could be just, uh, um, there is some issues that is going on with some friendships out there. And I see um, you are overcoming, you could be celebrating with friends because this is more of a returning together with friends and celebrating um, really healing because as people gather together they celebrate okay and it creates an healing so who is this in the reverse there is some issues and situation with uh, you young people either legal issues or something to do with work so um, you young people are in reverse and it has to do with a whole lot of money so whatever is transpiring I see that uh, Whoever you young people are, there is a, you're in the reverse and it has to do with a whole lot of money. Like um, you could um, be caught with some situation with a whole lot of money. It's a bank institute, a corporation. And then I see um, the energy of uh, this is judgment call on your um, falsita, falsita, lies and deceptiveness. Judgment call on falsita lies and um deceptiveness so whoever is a false friend whoever this person is i see a judgment call came down on this person and 
um i see they're looking in a situation with this person again we have the energy of the king of cups in reverse so some of you ladies are dealing with a sister or a female figure that is 50 years and older some of you it could be your mom but i see some of you older ladies uh, are dealing with this female figure um is she um um, let's see who she is. Yes, she is the Queen of Cups. And I see that there is some legal issues around this person. Is it a family member, whoever? But I see that there is some legal issues around this person. Whatever they have done, I, I see truths are coming out. So what we're seeing is that there is some issue with maybe a sister or a family member. Um, and it has to do with a whole lot of money um a whole lot of money that this person needs to pay or however it is coming up but it is a whole lot of money and whatever is happening and transpire with this whole lot of money that is happening and is coming up i see that some of you ladies could be receiving and ladies 50 years and older could be receiving some new contract um whatever this was and whatever that was transpiring some of you are dealing with um, some friends and some of you are dealing with an Aquarian friend. And I see whatever is happening and transpiring, there is a lot that is transpiring in your world. Um, and there is a lot of deliriousness that is coming up because of uh, some issue and some situation. Now, the deliriousness is uh, not so bad. It's actually good. So however you look at it, it's uh, not that bad. Um, men, there is no um, happy outcomes for you men. Um, whatever that was happening and transpiring, you businessmen, there is some issues that you're dealing with and there is no happy outcomes. Okay, so I see whatever um, this situation is, uh, there is no win over um, this person. Okay, whoever this person is, uh, um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person, there is no win over this person. I think this person is um, on top of their games and seeing the truth. Then we see some investigation is taken, is happening against you um, women with kids. And they could be um, really um, investigating yourself or your kids. I see an end is coming in to an investigation. So um, if you ladies were having some issue, legal issues with your kid or that sort of a thing. I see this is coming out. The Eight of Swords, melancholy, a whole lot of thinking, a whole lot of worries, Nine of Swords. So Nine of Swords and Ten of Swords, I see some of you have melancholy. You want to move forward. You want to do something. You want to travel. You want to locate. But there is really some melancholy that is happening here and is transpiring. So what we're seeing is really some this week is a, a week of a whole lot of worries for a lot of you and um ladies and gentlemen it doesn't make any sense you worry about a situation you just have to try to resolve whatever the issue and the situation is and i see a whole lot of worries is coming out here um ladies whatever is happening and transpiring and whatever this worries is all about i see you need to um some of you are worrying about your home. Some of you want to move. Whatever is happening and transpiring, some of you want to move. Um, if you want to move, I see, or if you're looking for work, there is going to be a new opening, a new contract that is going to be coming up, and this is going to be good. Some of you, if your wife was an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libran, or an Aquarian, I see some sort of uh, um, situation here where I see whatever that was transpiring with this person um, this person could have take take some of you men um to um for a dna test and i see this person is uh, like wanting some form of child support or some form of support from you guys so i see this sort of energy is coming up now you uh, men between the ages of 18 and 45 there was some sort of uh, issues that was transpiring and whatever the issue is that is happening, I see that it has to do with a liberal or a legal issue that some of you ladies, some of you ladies could be dealing with the legal issues and family legal issues that is transpiring and coming up. Now, the energy with falsita, 
is that you're celebrating overcoming some illusion that was created by false sita false sita i see a judgment call is coming down on this person and i see um whoever works in a bank financial institution anything that money goes through i see they're going to be finding out uh, who this person is and how the money has been transferring and how um people create these uh, illusions around you um let's say that a lot of you want to move forward you want to move you want to change jobs a lot of you are seeing the falseness of your friends okay you're seeing that your friends are really really false you're really now seeing the truth about your friends there is an issue in a situation with some money um in a bank or a financial institution there is really some deceptiveness that has happened and has transpired and i see a whole lot of issues that is uh, being um coming up because truth is coming out okay a light has been shed on your friends and people around you a light has been shed on your bank institution financial institution you ladies are seeing the truth about a pisces cancer and a scorpion and how they have gotten themselves in some issues and situation it could be mother and daughter it could be um mother um sister and sister so there could be some legal issue um that is happening and transpiring because i see communication i see conflicts uh, between a mother and a daughter and a um two sisters okay so there is the energy of female energy and it's going to be happening to you women 50 years and older whatever is transpiring i see some information or some of you young people have some issue with a financial institution bank or a financial institution however that is coming up and is affecting you men whatever the issue and the situation is there is no win of over a, a taurus virgo or a capricorn a person whoever try to throw this lady under the bus there is absolutely no win because they saw the deceptiveness that you have um created around this woman it could be your boss or it could be your wife but the truth is coming out and i see a lot of you men are very very desperate because the truth is coming out okay so however this was happening in your world in your life I see a whole of you are desperate because some form of information is coming out. So I want you guys, this is Independent Day. So um, it's going to be dropping the day after Independent Day, okay? Because of um, uh, um, the full moon is already out and the full moon is Sunday. So after the full moon, then um, it will come out. There is a whole lot of deceptiveness that was at and around a whole lot of you. And you're melancholy because of some decision you have made in the past. But it is like, let it go. Let it go. You did it. It happens. Let it go. So whatever you guys are all melancholy about, you got to let it go. Because uh, um, there is a lot of conflicts, a lot of conflicts, a lot of worries. This week is a week of a lot of conflicts and a lot of worries. And you need to start to create healthier um, think built in order to create some positive sort of a think built around you and not constantly in the form of uh, um, a whole lot of worries. And this is what is transpiring. If you're looking for a new job or a new house, a new apartment, you want to buy something new, it is going to be available in this week. So this is going to be wonderful. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for um, stopping by. Um, uh, I'd love if you return. <laughs> Please like and share these videos. Share, share, share. Release yourself from the worries, okay? Um, because the worries doesn't really help. You just have to ask for help from the universe, okay? So I gotta go, but um, please share these videos. Share, share, share. It is all about expressing, sharing, so that other people, the um, as you share one video, it helps someone else uh, to um, create um, a certain balance and realize that worrying is not going to be helping what is it transpiring. So I love you guys. I got to go. Have a wonderful week. Namaste. Enjoy your Thanksgiving, your July 4th.